Hey guys, it's Astrid, and today I'm going to be doing the center look with the Kat Von D Satan Center Palette. That is this side right here. As you can see, it has all the rich dark tones so that's kind of what I went with today uh, not an everyday look but something really fun and I think it is really fall so if you want to see how I got this look just keep on watching all right so obviously I only have my eyebrows done um, this time in my last video I had my whole face done but for this particular eye look I did want to use tape just because I am using some dark colors and there's probably gonna be fallout anyway so I'm just gonna do the rest of my face off camera after I do my eye look and then I'll come back on and do my lips also yes um, I still have curls in my hair I've been doing this almost every single day since bleaching my hair lighter I've just like curled my hair with a curling iron and then pinned them kind of old Hollywood style so I thought since my face isn't even done I'm just going to leave it in while I do my eye look and I'll just zoom you guys in for my eye so first things first I'm just going to prime my eyelids I just the same thing yesterday for the Saint look so I thought it would only be fair to do the exact same thing for the center look so I'm just using my Tarte Shape Tape in light and taking that on a BH Cosmetics brush and just buffing that in. Now digging in, the only thing about the center side is that there is no base shade. So I am going to use Amen from the Saint side. That's the only shadow I'm going to use from the Saint side. I know I didn't want to use any, but I just wanted to use this palette anyway, so I might as well just use this one as the base shade. It's a bone color, and it's also what I used as my base in yesterday's Saint video. That's just going to help me blend all the shadows better. Now moving right along, I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques 203 brush and go into this kind of, I don't know how to describe this color, Martyr. The closest thing I can think of is that it looks like Shroom from Lime Crime, like that Velveteen. It's kind of a warm yellow toned brown. So I'm just going to put that all in my crease. The only thing with this palette is that there are a lack of matte shades. I would usually go in with a lighter crease shade and then like gradually go in with something darker like this. But most of the shadows in this palette are shimmery. So I gotta work with what I have. Now I'm going to go in with this burnt orange shade named Devil and just put that in my crease as well, just over where I put the Martyr shade. Now I'm going to go in with this more dense brush and go into the black shade which is named Sabbath. And this is just a really true matte black shade and I'm going to take it really close to the line where the tape is and then on the inner corners and kind of give a halo effect and this is going to kind of act as like liner almost for the look because I don't want to do liquid eyeliner. I just want to do a like a smoky cat eye kind of effect. And I'm going to blend this in better. I'm just kind of placing it where I want it right now.
Now going back in with my Real Techniques brush, I'm just going to blend that better. And I did go in with this small Morphe shader brush and just kind of pat in a little more of that Sabbath shade just to make it super, super dark because I wasn't getting that effect with any of the fluffy brushes. So now I've really been debating on what the middle shade should be, whether it be Ministry or Vestment. Vestment is kind of a classic like blue-brown shift shade and then Ministry is more of a sapphire metallic. I think I'm going to go with Ministry, the Sapphire Metallic, and just take that on my Morphe brush and kind of, wait, actually, I'm going to spray my brush first with my Kat Von D setting spray just to get a ultra metallic finish. And then I'm going to pat this all in the center of my eye. Now I'm going to go in with a little more of Martyr on my Real Techniques brush and just blend that all out. Alright, so I do have a dilemma. I think those are all the shades I'm going to put on my lid, but there's no shade where I would really use as a typical inner corner highlight. So I think I'm going to go a little crazy and I'm torn between Exodus or Relic. I think I'm going to go with Relic just because that one's more metallic. Exodus is kind of a matte with gold glitters in it, but... I think I'm going to go with like the true yellow gold and I'm just going to take that on my Morphe brush and put that on my inner corner. That is really bright. That reminds me of the Rihanna Trophy Wife highlighter that everyone is freaking out about which I haven't tried but I really want to but this is kind of like what it looks like from the swatches I've seen so obviously this wouldn't be my typical everyday choice for an inner corner highlight but I think it somehow works with the cobalt color so I'm just going to take off this tape and do my lower lash line Alright, and as you guys can see, there is some fallout, so I'm happy that I did my eyes first for this look today. There was some fallout with the Saint side as well, but since I did use lighter colors, I was able to correct it. I honestly kind of feel like a superhero with this color combo. 
it's not as gold as I thought. The um, relic color, it's like a true yellow metallic, which is kind of interesting because I don't have any other shade like it. Now I'm gonna go in with my Coco Lashes in Risqué and I'm going to do my mascara while I let those dry. And I'm just gonna be using my Jordana Best Lash Mascara. This is the same mascara I used for yesterday's look. I'm trying to use the same um, like external factors, if that makes any sense, for these two looks, just because I wanna focus on the eyeshadow. I am using different lashes, oof, just because it's a different look that I'm going for. But like, I'm using the same mascara. And you know, I'm gonna do my face the exact same as yesterday. So. Alright, so that is it for the eye look. Now I'm going to snap my fingers and the rest of my face and my hair is going to be done. Alright guys, so I'm back and my whole face is done except my lips. So now I'm just going to go in with this Lime Crime Velveteen. It is in the shade Gigi and it's one of my all-time favorites. Now I totally could have ran with the whole center vibe and done like black lips or like a super dark blue or red or something, but I think this look is going to look better with like a neutral lip just so it'll be like super wearable. Um, and this is kind of like a dusty mauve color, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Alright you guys, and that is the finished look. I am pretty happy with it, actually. I didn't know how it was going to turn out um, with the small amount of mattes that are in this palette on the center side, but I actually really like how it came out. I really love this ministry shade and then also the yellow one on my inner corners. I usually wouldn't put these two together, but I think it looks pretty good. So please don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video. I am going to be putting up some Halloween looks. I even got like an orange background that's gonna come in in a few days. So I'm thinking about doing a pop art look even though that's been like overdone a million times but I've always wanted to do it and I also want to do like a Barbie look and a mermaid look some like just cute Halloween looks. I never do anything that scary. So I just want to do some girly Halloween looks. So let me know in the comments below what you guys want me to do and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so you see whenever I post a video. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!